In this video we will look at simple linear regression. The example data we're working with is a data frame called data containing two columns so that's the X and the Y uh, scatter of, of 10 observations and we'll be fitting a straight line uh, through the scatter. In R the way we're used to doing this is using the LM function where Y is a function of X and the data set is in this case called data and these are the uh, coefficients intercept and slope right so the model that we're about to fit is the uh, simple linear regression model where y is the observed uh, value y hat is the prediction and epsilon is the uh, normal uh, residuals so what the LM function is R is doing is to maximize the log likelihood, that is, summing the likelihood over the 10 observations. So the way we implement these equations in TMB, uh, the model equation and the likelihood equation, is in a C++ file. Here is the C++ file, and we recognize the uh, model equation, y fit equals this, and the likelihood equation, which is now the negative log likelihood. So it's the same as before, just with a minus in front of it. But let's look at the source code line by line. The first four lines are uh, somewhat cryptic. It's just how all TMB models start. So we'll move on to the data, where the data are read from R. Uh, X and Y are data vectors, and N is an integer describing the uh, length or the size of the y vector. So size is a function that returns the length of an object and we store it as n, the number of observations. In this model we're going to be estimating three parameters b0, b1 and log sigma. Their values will be passed from r. Uh, so sigma we're estimating on the log scale and its value will be positive. Here we define a vector uh, where we will store the predicted values. This is the TMB way of defining a vector. The objective function that we're going to minimize is called neg log L, the negative log likelihood. We start by initializing its value to zero. The predicted values are calculated in the same way as we would do in R, and we store them in the vector called y fit. To calculate the negative log likelihood, we use the denorm function, which works in the same way as in R. It takes as arguments the observation, the mean, the standard deviation, and this is a flag to get uh, the log likelihood. We sum the likelihood over the 10 observations, and finally to get the negative log likelihood, we use minus. Finally, we return the value of the negative log likelihood back to R. When we work in TMB, we work with two files. One is the C++ source file describing the model. The other is an R script that controls the workflow. We read in the data. Here we declare the three parameters in the model and set the starting values. Here we load the TMB package into R. We could also type library TMB. Compiling the model takes a while as the C++ file is converted into a DLL. This steps, uh, this compilation time can be reduced uh, by using the precompile function. But in general, this is a good time to pause and reflect. That took about 10 seconds. In the console, we now see the output from a successful compilation with a zero at the end indicating success. The next step is to load the DLL into memory before we run the model. Here we construct the model before fitting it. To construct the model, we use the make ad fun function that takes three arguments. Data is uh, a list and uh, in this case a uh, data frame, in our case a data frame which is a special kind of a list. 
parameters, also a list, and finally the name of the DLL. We have now come to fitting the model. To do this we use the AnalminB optimizer which takes three arguments and they are different components from the model we just constructed. The par element is the uh, starting values, here we have the objective function value and the gradients. The optimizer generates output that we now see in the console. The maximum gradient component starts out very large and gets smaller and smaller until the model has converged. The model fit is an object containing these elements. So we have the three parameters, B0, B1, and log sigma, and the best estimates, the point estimates. We have the negative log likelihood, the objective function value at the best fit. Convergence zero again indicates success. In 17 iterations and these number of evaluations, it uh, converged and the message is relative convergence is good, meaning low gradient. We are also interested in the uncertainty about the parameter estimates. And that is a separate step where we use the SD report function. The SD report uh, function uses uh, the delta method to calculate the standard errors about each estimate. So we have B0 and the corresponding standard error, B1 and the standard error, and log sigma and the standard error. So what have we learned? A TMB project consists of two files, an R script that controls the workflow and a C++ file that calculates the negative log likelihood. Linear regression is a simple example but we use the same framework to fit more complicated nonlinear models 